We did a story a while ago about Luke Aikens, who did the world's first skydive from an airplane with no parachute into a net, and he performed this stunt in 2016. After posting that video, so many people in the comments section stated he was not the first. Gary Connery, who wingsuit landed with no parachute into boxes in 2012, was the first. Now yes, they are sort of correct. Gary was definitely the first person to ever wingsuit land with no parachute into boxes. But it's a totally different type of stunt. Gary wingsuit landed into boxes, and Luke landed into a net, both without a parachute. So yes, they're kind of similar stunts, so people can be forgiven for thinking they are the same type of stunt. But they are not, for one obvious reason. Luke had no way of slowing his descent. He had to land in that net. But Gary was wearing a wingsuit, which gives you a basic ability to fly. With a wingsuit, you can level out your flight and slow down. You can even pull up into a stall and drop to the ground at less than terminal velocity, and probably survive. But Luke had no choice but to land in the net or he would have died. But no matter how you look at it, they are two different stunts. There was also another video people keep posting links about and saying this guy also jumped with no parachute, but he jumped through a hole in a roof and landed onto a trampoline. But that video was just a publicity stunt for a trampoline park, so it was a fake stunt with clever editing. And just to be thorough, there is one more video of a man who wingsuit landed onto water. But certain questions have been raised about the authenticity of this video, as it was posted by World of Wingmen, which is a men's grooming company. Also, the landing itself does not look right, as the wingsuit landing seemed to be going slower than it should be, and the water splash looked fake. In my opinion, it was just another clever publicity stunt with good video editing, just like the trampoline stunt. But now that I have covered all four of the videos that are similar in nature, I would like to tell you about the story of Gary Connery, who did officially become the world's first man to wingsuit land with no parachute into boxes in 2012. Gary Connery is one of Hollywood's most successful stuntmen, and has worked on many high profile movies, including James Bond, Batman Begins, Harry Potter, Sherlock Holmes, Indiana Jones, plus many others. Gary is exceptional at taking on challenges that few others would attempt as well as taking on high-risk challenges of his own, such as this stunt of landing in a wingsuit, which he said was the holy grail of the skydiving world. On the day of the stunt, Gary was lifted by helicopter to 2400 feet. He stepped out on the landing strut and then jumped off. Now wingsuit flyers can reach speeds of up to 140 miles or 225 kilometers per hour. But on this flight, Gary only reached a speed of 70 miles per hour. Still, the whole flight only took 35 seconds. landed on the boxes, Gary told me he felt absolutely no physical pain whatsoever. 
the boxes worked perfectly. Now in case you were wondering, why are there so many boxes for such a small landing? Well, there was nowhere to know for sure at what spot Gary was going to land. So in essence, they made him a runway of boxes to land on. In total, there were 18,600 cardboard boxes, 12 feet high, costing about 30,000 pounds or almost 41,000 US dollars and were assembled by 100 volunteers. And the whole stunt was organized and paid for by Gary himself. Gary also had to pay another 15,000 pounds during his training period, preparing for this stunt. Now I know a lot of people are going to say, why risk your life and so much money? Well, as Gary said, landing in a wingsuit is considered the holy grail of the skydiving community. And because he is such an accomplished stuntman, he knew it could be done and wanted to prove it to himself. And he wanted it to be an inspiration to others. Kind of like the first motorbike backflip or the first monster truck backflip. Someone has to be the first. Now normally, a wingsuit flight ends by deploying a parachute, not by landing into boxes. But then again, some people are not normal, just like Gary Connery. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.